A human cell, when influenced by various environmental factors, can deviate from its normal function. The fate of the cell is often controlled by the localization of proteins. They affect the cell differently depending on their location. For instance, in the nucleus or in the cytoplasm. XPO1 is a critical transporter which shuttles over 200 different proteins from the nucleus to the cytoplasm. An important mechanism in a human cell is the presence of specific tumor suppressor proteins in the cell nucleus to protect the cell against malignant development. Cancer cells induce inflammation in the surrounding tissue, creating a favorable tumor environment. Cell division is now unrestricted, and furthermore, immature cells lose their ability to develop into specialized cells. Prior to the first cycle, during the screening phase, a minimum of two visits to your clinic are necessary to collect patient information relevant for the study. This also includes a bone marrow aspiration that will be used to evaluate your disease status. Regular clinic visits throughout the study will serve to assess your body's reaction to the study treatment. Additionally, to assist you in the beginning and after the study, a few telephone calls are scheduled to monitor side effects and dosage of accompanying medications. The first-in-class sign XPO1 antagonist can do just that. The drug blocks the transporter XPO1 and inhibits the binding of tumor suppressor proteins. Key proteins in the fight against cancer are retained in the nucleus and maintain their function. A reduction in fatigue and an increase in appetite can be achieved with supportive treatment given prior to and during the cycle. It is helpful to keep a diary of your side effects, noting their severity and frequency. Your physician can optimize your medication and give additional advice, 